Welcome friends to tutorial on how to flash Micromax Android One. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, then find link in the description. अगर आप इस वीडियो को हिंदी में देखना चाहते हैं, तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में चेक करें. If your phone is giving problem like startup issue, randomly restarting, automatically app download, or various errors such as unfortunately apps install hanging so this flashing can solve all your problem all software related problem in your phone note this will delete all your user data in your phone so please back up your data before flashing if it is possible to back up now in this tutorial i gonna show you flashing but i strongly recommend you to hard reset before flashing because hard reset is very easy and safe method to solve problem whereas flashing is a very risky process as if you do not follow flashing very carefully your phone would be dead now hard reset hard reset work for 50% time only it not solve your problem most of the time so if hard reset did not solve your problem then proceed to proceed for flashing as my phone is stuck at startup logo i am going to solve this i going to solve this by flashing and in this phone we have mediatek pro, uh, chipset and in all the android one device there is one more step involved for flashing that is unlock bootloader if you don't unlock your bootloader your phone will be not detected in vcom driver that is preloader mode will be not detected by pc if your bootloader is not unlocked so first we will unlock bootloader and and for that you will require a windows pc phone of course you will require phone and battery battery with minimum 50% charge and a usb cable on to your phone pc with battery inserted in all the mediatek device pc detect your device in switch off condition at as as vcom port driver but in this case it will not detect because um in all android one device bootloader is locked bootloader is by locked by default and you need to unlock your bootloader in order to boot your phone into download mode so for doing so you need to boot your phone into fast boot mode by pressing volume up and power button and when list comes in the screen you have to select fast boot mode by scrolling using volume up and select using volume down and now your phone is in fast boot mode and you have to connect your phone to pc with the usb cable and your phone will be detected as android device in cm device manager here it is android device so the driver is not installed for this so you need to install driver that is adb driver android debug bridge so go into description and download intel adp driver and extract it and then install
after adp driver is installed your phone would be detected as android debug bridge adp and then go to description and download subscribe folder which is most important to unlock bootloader as this folder contains all the files adp files which will be used to unlock bootloader in android a1 devices and copy that adp folder in any of your local drive such as e c e d a b c anything don't copy it in c or anywhere in the desktop because it will not work if it is in system drive i'm copying it in h now open cmd command prompt here by pressing shift key and right click on your mouse at the same time you have to press and select command prompt here and then check your device is connected properly by entering command fastboot devices it will show all the devices which are connected in fastboot mode and then enter command fastboot oem unlock fastboot oem unlock will unlock your bootloader in the unlock your bootloader and it will direct you to phone for permission it will ask permission and provide by pressing volume up now here it is your bootloader is unlocked after bootloader is unlocked your pc will detect your phone as vcom driver as vcom port for that you have to install mtk driver with the help of description which contains tutorial and also the driver driver rar file so go ahead and download and install mtk driver in your pc and also download firmware which contain tools and flash file now open sp flash tool from sp flash tool folder open this flash tool application run as administrative to avoid any error and this sp flash tool you have to select scatter loader button this is scatter loader button click on it it will open a dialog box and go to directory of firmware which you have direct downloaded and in this firmware folder this dialog box show only four file because it is searching for txt extension we have many file in that folder but it will detect only those file which we uh, which have txt extension and go ahead and select android scatter file android scatter file open it and this scatter file will automatically load all the file which are required to flash such as preloader bootloader recovery user data all the files and then select this drop down menu drop down button which and select firmware update 
and then you have to start flashing by pressing this download button hit this download button and your tool will search for vcom driver and then connect your phone connect your phone to pc in switched off condition first remove your battery then connect usb cable and then insert battery now a speed flash tool will detect your device and will start flashing so wait until flashing completes i am fast forwarding my video it will take quite time after flashing is completed this green tick comes in the screen on the screen and then remove your phone from pc and start it i hope this will solve your problem it will take quite time to start your phone i have skipped my video so be patient until your phone start it can take up to 5 to 10 minutes thank you for watching subscribe to my channel if your phone became dead after flash watch this video to recover your device and also look in description for more videos thank you for watching subscribe to my channel